Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special unboxing, something that came in from Tyler. Now Tyler was helping me look for something I've been looking for for a while. And uh, yeah, let's just, let's take a look and you'll see what I'm talking about. Alright, today I'm opening up with my Skiff Made Blades Fugitive, one of my favorite not my favorite knife in my collection right now together so I'll go ahead and open this up where is the I'm cutting this is it right here I don't know where to cut it I think this is it right here right I think he's covered up where I'm supposed to open it. I have no idea. I feel like I'm going to destroy this box. Where the heck do I open this thing? Alright. I'm going to have to just rip it open from the side. I can't figure it out. This is adult proof or something. What do we have here? Move this off to the side. Oh, it's very well packaged. I'll say that much. Customs Certificate of Authority. Ooh, this is a really cool box. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Protean. Number 135. Ooh, nice little box. What do we have here? Prince. All right, 920, 24. 20 CV blade. All right. So here we go. Nice little box. Cool presentation. I'm digging that. All right, the Proteon. A protein. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. I've right, got a nice little clip there. Beautiful back spacer. Chamfered all the way around. Nice and rounded. Nice and rounded there as well. Looks like a nice big T10. T8's there. One screw there. That's it. One screw there. All right, so we got a fuller. Let's see how it goes. Ooh. Nice thin hollow grind. I like the hollow grind. Nice thick blade to the very tip. Very strong. But that edge is super thin. Let's look at that edge right there. Alright, so they did that kind of sharpening. That reminds me a little bit of what Skiff Blades does with that little thicker tip. I, I didn't kind of dig that, honestly. I kind of dig that. Alright, so let's see. Get a full grip. I've got large hands. You know, with big meaty fingers, so... Not equivalent to an extra large hand with normal size fingers, double extra large hands with um, thinner fingers. But going all the way up, can we get all the way up there? We can. We can kind of go all the way up here. We've got a little extra room. Can we be back here? Nice jimping. Very useful for sure. Oh, we got a little the, uh, the Prince Customs little logo right up there. Beautiful milling on the inside, first of all. Nice cutaway. Oh, that's a lot of axis in there. So let's see. How does it drop? Does it flip forward? Yeah, oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I've heard people, some people were like, they were not impressed with this. But I think the question is, what are your expectations in a knife, right? What do you value in a knife? Okay, I'm digging this. I'm really digging this. Now, is it primarily a top flipper? I mean, it can be, but I don't know if that's like it's normal focus like if I wanted it to be I could could I do can I reach over the front yeah it's a little difficult but I think that fuller is what it's really made for and over here you've got a nice big clip so very easy to reverse flick down flick as well yeah I think I think using the clip is going to be the easiest but if I could put my finger up here could I we get it way up, up there I think you want to be lower. That's the thing. 
Yeah, I definitely want to be lower, get a, a little leverage down here. Drift too high. It's a little tighter up here than it is down there. All right, we're nice and dead center. Let's listen to that detent. Nice and clickety, for sure. Any detent lash? No. Any pivot play? No. Any blade rock? No, it's in there really solid. Got a steel bar, insert, over travel stop. Is that an over travel stop in there? Can't see, hold on. It's a little, a little trouble seeing in there. Oh yeah, there's an over travel stop right in there. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that right there? That's nice. Okay, very cool. All right, so not too sharp on the top, but definitely, you know, it's it's not it's not dull, but it's if you're going to, like, use a, a, a ferrous rod or something, you definitely do that. Got a unique milling pattern right there that follows. That's nice, but, man, that hollow grind. Can you all see that hollow grind there? I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get that focused in on. That's just crazy. Action is beautiful. You can drop it right there and catch us. Not a guillotine in your thumb. To me, that's really nice. Not nice and natural in the hand like that. Flips really well. It's not one of these where I have to really go out of my way. I mean, it does have a big clip. I know some people are not going to like that. It's a big clip. But you know what? That clip works really nice for reverse flick. And thumb flick works really nice. How about this? Oh. I gotta get a little better. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Now this is this will be the trick. This will be can be it's gonna rip my finger or it's gonna work. Let's see. Ooh. Now I think yeah, definitely not gonna be one of those flicky 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 things here because it's pretty aggressive. But you can make it work like that. It definitely will work like that. So you get the little bonus there for sure. But it's definitely meant to be primarily a fuller flick for sure. That's nice. I am curious. I know some people are like, don't put oil in there, but I like to put a little oil. I'm going to do it. I don't know if he already has oil. I don't see any oil. Oh, it's got a beautiful ramp there. You see that ramp? Yeah, it has some oil in there. Let's just add a little extra. Okay. going to put a little bit on the detent ball as well. It's a big, nice white ceramic ball on there. It's not one of the dark ones. So it kind of stands out. I saw that on my cover burgers. Nice. Cool. All right, so it's not huge. I will say that. It's a little smaller on the smaller side, so... The Fugitive is definitely going to be a bigger knife, but if we're going to compare to other knives, let's look at this. So it's about the rosy size. Maybe a little bit bigger than a rosy for sure. Uh, what would I consider close to? Uh, maybe, maybe a whole blade works. A whole blade works even is a little bit bigger. Maybe a whippersnapper. I think that's going to be smaller for sure. It's about the same size. Yeah, it's a little smaller. So it's kind of in between. Interesting. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Put all those away. It's worth enjoying that clothes. I love that buttery, smooth clothes action on every one of those knives. It actually brings me a lot of joy. So, yeah. Got a little oil on there. But the nice fuller works really well. Oh, that's cool. It's got like a chamfering in there, a little design. Hey, okay, let's zoom in. It's worth taking a look at the details. So what we see here, we're definitely seeing like a little chamfering on the fuller hole here, right? You can see that. And then you can see it on both sides right there. Very specific. There's the Prince Custom logo at the top. Very aggressive jimping. It's not super uncomfortable when you go over it, but you push down, boy, you are locked in for sure. Loved the, the knurling, the, the texture that's on the scale itself. This is really nice. Beautiful kind of little pivot there. It is not a captive pivot, but if it's anything like Arno Bernard and some of the other places, one will be like glued in there, locked really tight. 
And then the other one will be just with a little bit of Loctite. You can definitely see the milling that's gone in here. Very good access. I like this. It's up a little bit because typically in front of your finger, I mean, look at that. That's, come on now. I like details. I really like details. And it really brings me a lot of joy to see little details like that. Engineering, ergonomic things that you think of that maybe no one else would ever notice, but I notice immediately. That is stinking cool. All right, so a typical person has a finger like me. Part's sticking out, this part's a little thinner. You're going to come down here. Your finger's going to be right in this area, but the top of your finger is going to need to clear right up there. So guess what? There you are. That's what makes this feel so much like an easy, easy access to get to, even though, even though, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's just chamfered right in there. up there that, that's a nice touch i dig that i really dig that now if you can't see it there's a beautiful milling on the inside oh and there's the little details of the knife i think this number is what is this number is that on the card 135 this is 135 look at that beautiful milling in there really nice this is not aggressive i love that very thin lock bar easy to get to texture on this I got a little oil everywhere because I put a little oil on there, but I like that. Now, this is like an atomic wash, acid wash, but it's very smooth, very nice. And let me hold on a second because I want to point out, everyone is a little different, right? Everyone does this completely differently. Uh, my knife. Here, uh, oh, well, I guess we could, no. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so McNeese does it too, and his stuff is very smooth as well. And he has that kind of look, and it's very smooth in hand, but it gives you some texture. Likewise here, and this is a little darker, but it gives you definitely some texture as well. And I do like that a lot, so that's kind of cool. Another one that has it is, now I've since kind of worn it down a little bit. Uh, you have the, kind of what they call the working finish on the um, Rick Hinder clips here. And I've kind of polished that a little bit because I like it a very light, light bit. So that's interesting. Of course, you can't see what I'm showing. So I am sorry, guys. <clears throat> so here is the, the milling, the texturing on the McNeese. I don't know if you can see that. Very smooth. And here it is on the Prince Customs, the Proteon. And then you have it here. And now, I've, I've, like I was saying, I've polished this off a little bit. So this, this has definitely been polished off. So it's a little smoother. And part of that was because this logo right here was milled out and super, super sharp. So I had to kind of brush that off with my Dremel, and it, as a process, it kind of took some of the really dark working finish off, which I was fine with, right? And this one here, this is one of the knives I've used the most and beat up with the most. I love that knife. <clears throat> this is very cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what's left? What's left? You guys know, if you've watched me regularly, the SPK Lamia is the next one I really want to check out, or maybe acquire. So if anybody out there happens to have SPK Lamia, and you would like to allow me to borrow it, I would be honored. But uh, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler, for keeping an eye out and uh, allowing me to buy it from you after you bought it. I do appreciate that. Now, I will tell you, it is a little sharp right there. Got to be careful putting your finger in there. Yeah, it's definitely accessible. Might be nice to have a little longer backspacer. I mean, I get why it's there, but just be careful with your fingers. Don't put them in there. That will You will get cut from that. So let's see. How sharp is that edge? Nice and sharp. Let's look at that edge. Nice. But, but that side. And on that side. Yeah, it is really nice. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to grab a little piece of paper over here. Let's see. Ooh. I'm 
don't know if it's just because it's getting a little thicker there on the edge or what, but uh it is ripping a little bit. That's got a nice toothy edge for sure. We'll put that off to the side. Let's just let's kind of get an idea. What is the angle like? I I know you guys don't necessarily maybe care about this. I do. I almost fast forward here. But I want to see what's the angle we're dealing with right here. We're dealing like a 15, 20, 25. What are we dealing with? It sure feels like it's around 15, maybe 17. I don't know. Yeah, pretty good. Now, this is 20 CV blade steel, I believe, right? Yeah, so it's CPM 20 CV blade steel. Don't know what the Rockwell hardness on this guy is, but we will. I'm sure somebody out there will have tested it or something, but. I will tell you, I, I didn't know about Prince Customs until Bearded Gear. Jake. He had a review on this. He doesn't do a whole lot of reviews anymore on his channel, but he did a review on this. He got it at, I think it was Texas Blade Show or, or Atlanta, and I was talking to him, and I remember him coming back from some place and looking at it, and I thought, couldn't quite tell what the knife was, and I was like, that looks kind of interesting. And I didn't really ask him, and I thought I should at the time. And then I saw him drop his, his uh, review, his um, comments on it, and I was like, okay. Wish he had said something at Blade Show, because... I'm sure it was probably a little bit cheaper at Blade Show. It usually tends to be cheaper at Blade Show. Uh, you get what they call a Blade Show discount, right? Because you don't have to do the shipping. You you don't have to do a whole bunch of other things because you usually just pay cash, right? So you don't have to convert it. You don't have to pay the fees. All sorts of stuff. All I'm doing is just a little strop. I get a lot of personal enjoyment out of stropping. Now we're, at, now we're at the crazy sharpness point. I can shave easily. Do a few more strops, and then we'll call it quits here. So you guys don't want to see this, you can fast forward this. I'll probably have skipped it too. All right, very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. Now, I know one of you guys out there had one of these and you were not a fan you thought lowly of the knife i will say you have the right to have your opinion i respect that i always respect people's opinion on their knives whether i agree or disagree it is your money it is your purchase it's your knife <clears throat> but my personal opinion of this knife is that i would not think this is like a cheap chinese knockoff i would not call this 300 dollars knife i fully disagree with that i don't know Maybe you had a knockoff that you bought, or maybe, I don't know, maybe, you know, everyone has a bad day. Maybe you had a bad one, but I can tell you, you know. Now, I'm always going to be partial to Rosie's, right? I'm always, this is my first through really super grail. This blew me away. But this one is definitely up there. I'm digging this one. A lot of things that I really thought I would like about this. Oh, the action is very fidgety. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, it does flip well. It's not super easy. I'm not going to be able to, like, do the finger. I don't think I can do that. If I could just get it up there just high enough. Yeah, see, it's it's got to be, you got to break that detent. You got to have enough pressure flat to break that detent. It's a strong detent. So that's what gives it a nice, strong flip. I mean, it's the same thing like with the Rosie. I mean, I think if I can get it high enough, yeah, you can front flip this one too, right? But it's a, it's not the most comfortable to front flip, but hold on, I got to get the right angle. Now it's hard. You just got to have the right angle for that. It's possible, not the most comfortable. Now I can't do with that with the McNeese. No way. No way. Can I get the middle finger reverse flick? Wait, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I had it before. Yeah, you can do a bonus middle finger reverse flick. So, so you can get in there. Uh, of course, now I can't. You can do it. Of course, when I carry this for regularly, it's usually pretty easy. And then I'll get back into it. Let's see here. Yeah, so now I can do a three in a row. So 
no problem. I like that. Just like with the whip snapper, definitely get the middle finger reverse flick. I mean, it has so many things. Got the little, little thumb hole, got the top flip, front flip, and then of course you can do the reach, reach, reach from behind. Works really nice. And of course you can just, just really nice. That's why I like this over here. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. I, yeah, I'm, <clears throat> yeah, I was trying to hold back on how excited I was going to be about this. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Yeah. Not, not a hot spot at all. Feels so good in hand. Mm. Okay, I, I gotta I gotta fidget with this a bit and just enjoy it, but I gotta tell you guys. It is what I'd hoped it would be, and I was trying to be really calm about it and not get super excited, but yes, super excited. I am super excited about this one. Absolutely digging this one. All right. If any of you guys have had one of these or you own one or you've been wanting one, let me know your thoughts. My only concern, I think, my first impression, everything I like about it, is uh, the jimping here is pretty aggressive. Now, that angle right there, I get that's where it's going to hit the pin. Yeah, it's a stop pin. All right. So you really can't go higher than that. Yeah. Unless you move the pin back a little bit. You might have a little bit more, but that angle just, it works well. So... It's a bonus flick, but I don't think it's a primary flick. But it's nice. But that fuller is really nice. And thumb here works really well. So I have no issues whatsoever with that. And I'm still digging this thing right here. See, even, even when I work with the left hand, got the tip part going on there. I'm moving it over like that. It's just nice. Now, I think it's going to break in a little bit better. I don't know if he has skiffs in there. What does he have in there? looking now I gotta look at my flashlight yeah I can't tell will I put skips in there I'm probably gonna do it there's no question uh, I'll see if anybody's already done it and if Steve skips already got the it listed and if not then I will I will be one of the first and I'll let him know what fits yeah I'm digging this one I'm digging this one a lot it is it's better than I hoped it would be I really tried not getting my hopes up too high oh, so so pleased now I did I did sharpen that let's see did that change a little bit oh okay before I don't know if you can see this it's very shred, shred, shredded. This is a much cleaner, crisp cut. See? Oh, yeah. That's a much cleaner, crisp cut. So only it was just a nice little strop. Probably been sharpened on the machine or, or his belt or something. And I just did a little couple of strops, and there you go. Really nice. 20 CV, I think, strops up nicely. It's like M390. Or um, uh, not LC200N, but the um, P204N or whatever. What is the heck is that? I want, I can't. For some reason I can't remember. Anyways, those are all really pretty equivalent deals. You know, what? I'm going to do a quick pocket te te test. Let's see how well it goes in and out of pocket real quick while while I'm off camera here. In nice. Yeah, not bad. I'll do it one more time. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay. Very good. Very good. I am digging. Oh, I ran over the, the bubble wrap. Could you hear that a lot popping? My shirt ran over the bubble wrap. I'm Gotta save that. It's good for shipping stuff. But wow. Yeah. So that's probably why my collection's gotten a little smaller lately. I've been selling some of my other stuff that I like. I like a lot. But I like this more. And I'd rather have a few of these than a lot of the other. Just to be just to be honest with you guys. I'd rather have a few of these really nice ones than a lot of the other ones. This is one of those things that I very much enjoy. Just like... I enjoy my McNeese a lot. This was one of the first, no, one of the early grails. This was one of my big grails, and I was really excited about getting this one. I really, really like that. This was probably the first most hugely meaningful grail that I ever got. 
this kind of opened the door for me. Um, and a friend allowed me to buy this, and I really appreciated that. That was very, very unbelievably kind of him. And then, you know, I found this, and I really, this is, this is, this is the hinderer that I like the most, got to be honest with you, besides the Project X. And then that same friend who allowed me to know about this told me about this one, and, uh, oh, yeah. So, you know, that happened. And then, of course, that friend also allowed me, you know, um, told me about these coming up and stuff, and lo and behold, now I have somebody who helped me get one of these. And, uh, yeah, it was the same friend. So I am very grateful. I'm so appreciative. You have no idea. That was super, super awesome. And, you know, after I did this, um, another... Um, awesome person out there uh they actually offered if they found it on reddit or something they could uh, help me get it because i don't do reddit i'm i'm not a reddit guy i i know i should be i'm a techie guy but i'm a techie when it comes to applications and servers and things like that but i'm not certain things i just i don't have the energy the time to get into as much as i would love to like when i was younger just have so much on my plate nowadays i have noticed it's not that i don't like to get into it it's just i have so much to do and with this channel, I really enjoy all this stuff, but there's there's a lot of work. A lot of knives you got to review. You get cool things like this, but you got a lot of other things you've got to review and got to do a lot of um, unboxings, reviews. I got to put content together. I got to set up giveaways. Like, we're, as of this video, I'm really close to 6K. You might, When you see this, I might have already hit 6K, but I can't believe. Wow, 6K? I never thought I would hit that. I mean, I never thought I'd have 100 subscribers, and here we are. I, I think it's a ride. I think it's a fun ride, and I'm enjoying it. But this is one of those things in the ride that makes this so much fun. Makes it so much enjoyable. I really, 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 really like this. All right, we got to handle this a little bit. Get some, wrap our hands around this. Have some thoughts about this one. I can just tell you, yeah, I'm digging this one a lot. It is a cool knife. I believe it's worth the money that I paid for it. I do. I do. I like it. I like it a lot. But you know what? Not everyone's going to agree with that, right? Some people would never spend the money on a McNeese like this. No one. Some people would never spend it on a Holt Blade Works. They just would never do it. I get it. Some people absolutely dislike a Rosie. I get that as well. Fully get it. Some people are anti hinders. Uh, there's a lot of hinders I, I'm not a big fan of, to be quite honest. There's a few I really enjoy. Some people aren't really fans of the Whippersnapper. Old Amic customers is not one of their things they really get into. I get it. And some people, like myself, when I saw this um, Gift Maids Blades uh, Fugitive, it was it was not the most attractive in the pictures that I saw. The more I looked at it, the more I realized, wait a second, that's kind of a sexy knife. And then and I, thought, I got this in hand, and it is really nice. Really nice. One of those things that just keeps getting better and better. And I'm already experiencing that here with this little customs protein this is really this is really cool this is really really stinking cool yeah it's light it's milled out really well when we do the full review we'll take measurements and everything but it also has a nice pretty thick blade as well i think is pretty nice so all right i'm rambling because i'm enjoying this so much and i'm kind of like in high heaven it's been a hard week i've been doing a project i'm so tired i've been up so late been working so hard and this is my super excited mode being exhausted so you guys you may not think i'm super excited but i am i am so stinking it's excited i'm just i'm tired it's been hard work but this is amazing this is simply amazing it is what i hoped it would be all right i gotta stop <laughs> all right guys sorry if you have any questions about this knife the channel comment down below i'd love to hear from you i'd definitely like to try to answer all the comments if you found this content fun interesting worthwhile or informative would you please consider hitting the like button down below and if you've already hit that like button maybe hit the sub subscribe button subscribing and liking the channel really helps out me and the channel the content everything allows me to produce more content do more things ultimately do more things for you guys so thank you thank you to everyone who watches the videos who likes the videos who enjoys the content who's part of the little hype streams i sure appreciate you guys Thank you. And if you haven't already, maybe hit that notification button down below as well so you can be notified of future content like this video. And a big, big, big thank you to my channel members out there. You guys are hugely uh, encouraging and supportive. You allow me to do things way sooner than I ever thought I would be able to do. You help me uh, 
check out Knives because I cover a lot of the shipping. I'm so grateful to you guys. Thank you. Everybody's a huge part of this channel. Don't, don't, I'm not saying that they're super any different than anybody else, but they do help out quite a bit. And, and I'm so grateful for that. And I'm humbled by it. So I try to do two really nice things for my channel members. Uh, one, I do a once a month members exclusive giveaway. I usually try to make sure it's something really, really nice because you guys have been so generous with the memberships. I want to be generous back to you. So uh, as long as you guys are being so generous, I'm going to keep being generous because I want to make sure it's something that's worthy of a thank you for all that you guys have done. So thank you. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. Um, the second thing I also try to do is um, every brand new channel member, I'll mail you a channel member sticker. Email me with your name and address and I will mail you a sticker to say thank you. Uh, it's just another way for me to personally say thank you to you guys. If you've been a member for all this time and you're a member right now, or if you were a member before and became a member again and are a member right now, and you've never asked for a channel member sticker and you would like one, go ahead and email me too. I'd love to mail you one as well. I, 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 I'm more than happy to say thank you to all you amazing folks out there. Thank you to all of you guys. And if you haven't already, check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day, a great week. Bye.